Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, still blowing. Look at the snow caked on the freaking house walls, even. It's still kind of snowing. There's mocha dogs. Uh, not overly cold. Like they, they said on my weather app that it's something like minus six today, but with this wind, minus 16. She's nasty out here still. God damn it. And it's supposed to be like this all freaking day. Like, so, we got cow feeding to do. We got heifer feeding to do, and we got some more welding to do. So, big day. Let's get at her. Talk to you guys later. Like, got a little red going here, but see what I mean? Look up there. See how that driving wind just blows that snow? Big Blue's sitting in here, and he's got a fucking snowbank sitting on him. Now here, let me shut the lights off in here for a minute. I guess I'm just gonna show you guys something. And this is the joy of when you get a building built and they don't do the fucking proper job. Now, that hole in the back wall is from a bullet, but they ain't getting much for snow in through there. See that up there? See that light? Shitty fucking contractor. Never put the fucking cl foam closures in the roof at the peak or at the outside edges. And that's why I'm getting all this fucking snow in my shop. Rotten bastards. Just my beef. And at the time, I didn't know to double check all of their craftsmanship how's that sound i was too young and too dumb so for all of you young guys that are looking at getting a building done make sure you double check all of their craftsmanship and make sure that they're friggin getting uh ends all closed off because you know even if i had insulation and i do in that spot right there but that insulation the snow is going to blow in there it gets in your ceiling in your attic soaks your friggin insulation in your attic and then what have you got just a sloppy fucking mess right so long term goal is to get all of these friggin seams along my eave and in my peak spray foam maybe even spray foam the ceiling I might rip all the plastic out take that tin down which I put up and then just spray foam the ceiling I don't know yet too soon to tell. Anyway, I'm gonna back little Red out of here, let him warm up outside while we tack some more windbreak stuff together, and uh, we'll let you go and bring you guys back later. Are we having fun yet, guys? It's still freaking storming. Snow built up everywhere. It's wet. It's not cold. But that wind makes it feel kind of cold. It's wet, but these calves are looking good. Just got them another bale, gave them their pail of grain. And Brutus is doing okay. He doesn't like walking in this mucky shit. Kind of frozen, kind of, kind of friggin' thawed out somewhere in between mm, so anyway on to more stuff I already fed the cows but in this wind it ain't fucking fun so I'm not videoing much so okay talk to y'all later alrighty guys well wouldn't you guess I got this one built except there's no weld there, right? Kinda sorta got it welded on the underside. Need a couple more passes there. 
but the big one is up here. And I ran out of fucking wire. And I don't got none. And with this storm, I ain't going to Regina today. So my welding for the day is done. Son of a beehive. Oh well. We'll pull it the hell out of here. And uh, we'll bring it back in when I get wire back here. Talk to y'all later. Something will happen later on today, I'm sure. Anyway, later guys. Alrighty guys, how y'all doing today? She's a little cooler today. Minus 11 Celsius. But the wind has died down quite a bit. Uh, it's blowing about 35. Gusting of 35 K an hour. Uh, so yeah, it probably feels like about minus, I don't know, 17, 18. Anyway, what the hell are we doing? Oh, well, we're going to haul some cows for another neighbor. So my buddy Ken, uh, he lives like eight miles south of me. Some of you guys will remember me talking about him. We went there and we did some custom bailing for Ken. And then uh, we gave him a hand with his combine a little bit. Um, yeah, and now he asked if I could... His trailer is not plated, and his truck that's he pulls the trailer with, it's not plated. So he asked if I would just uh, run a load of calves down to Candiac. I'm not 100% sure how far that is off the top of my head. I'm guessing it'll be about 100K um, from his place anyways. So yeah, we're just going to head over there, get loaded up, and get those calves hauled. And then when we get home, we'll do some more cow feeding at home. So, anyway, we'll bring you guys along for the ride, and we'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, we're on the road. We're all loaded up. Uh, I generally don't show the loading part to a lot of guys' places, because those guys don't necessarily want to have their place put on YouTube or anything like that. So, but we got them all on. Uh, one was a little bit of an ornery little bastard and was doubling back on us constantly. So we ended up having to let a couple off and then push them all back on again. But uh, got, it, got it done. We're on the road. So yeah, all is good, right? Um, Tristan picked up our welding wire and we got that windbreak uh, finished off but Messer Group Messer Weld Supply and Gas or Messer Gas and Weld Supply they're a division of Lindy anyway um, uh, I ordered my stuff yesterday paid for it all over the phone and being that Tristan lives right there like a couple blocks away from Messer in Regina I asked if he could pick it up. He picks it up, brings it out this morning. And uh, I go to, I rip the box open, box of welding wire open. Wouldn't you guess? They sent me 035 and I run 045 wire. I bought and paid for 045 wire. And being that I had already ripped the box open and tore the plastics off, that's when I realized, whoa, 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 this wire looks too small. Yep, sure as shit. They sent me 035. So I phoned them up and they said, don't worry about it, Brandon. We will make this right. Uh, next time you come to the city, we'll uh, load you up with a box of 45 for your hassles and so on and so forth and our, our mistake. Uh, so no extra cost. So that's pretty sweet of them. Like, they made a mistake in their warehouse in Regina, and they made good by it by just, I get to keep the 3.5 wire. Mm, so, cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I don't know if anybody from Messer is watching my videos or not, but uh, they're a pretty good bunch of guys over there. Anyway, we got about another 20 minutes or better of driving to do, so uh, I'll let you guys go. 
and I'll bring you back when we get there, okay? Talk to you then. Alrighty, guys, well, we're just slowing down to pull into the Candiac Auction Mart here. They're right along the side of the highway, um, across, across the highway from Candiac, actually. Mm, so, we got 15 cabs on board here, and, uh, I'd say they're running right around that 650 weight. Mm, so, what the prices are like here, I really don't know. Every every place is just a little bit slightly different by a couple cents but I think in general depending on how far you got to drive it's uh, it works out in the end again it's just another drive through area you just kind of pull right through close your gates up and open your gate on your trailer to let them out. Alrighty. Let's see about getting these guys off of here now. Oh, manifest. And there's a big truck coming up behind us. So I'm going to let you guys go for a second and I'll bring you back here in a little bit. Alrighty. So that job's done. I don't know how many animals they're going to get in here for their sales. Well, there's that semi truck coming in with calves, I'm sure. And they're just checking the calves over that I just unloaded right there. Um, so yeah, it's... Oh, he might have some bigger animals in that trailer, some cows even. But anyway, our job is done. Let's get our butts home and get on to something that we need to get looked after at home. So talk to you guys when we get there. Alrighty, guys. Well, can't really see it. The windows are fogged up in this darn tractor. But out this way, that's that field we were disking down and we fertilized over there. There ain't much snow cover on it. The wind blew all the friggin' snow that we did get out of there and piled it up somewhat around the corrals and then in the neighbor's bushes and some in my bushes and so on and so forth. I just got done unrolling a green feed barley bale and now I got two oat bales that I pulled the twine off of already and we're gonna dump those in the feeders and that way they're fed up for today and all day tomorrow um, and then Saturday I'll have to top them off again fill them up again mm, so yeah it's winter time it's feeding time gotta get used to this right oh my goodness don't ask me why I'm yawning I have no idea maybe the fact of uh, waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning and not being able to sleep worth a damn and then going back to bed about 4 o'clock and sleeping for an hour and a half and back up at 5.30. Mm, so, and yes, CP is out in the pasture. She's out in the bush. She's at the blind. She is seeing stuff, but nothing that she considers a shooter yet. Mm, so, it's just the way she goes sometimes, right? Anyway, uh, when the hell's the tub grinder coming? Well... He was supposed to be here, like now, and that didn't work out. He had a bunch of guys that he had to grind for this week, um, and I'm going to guess that that didn't work out either because of the wind. If it's that kind of wind, you don't want to be grinding. So I'm going to guess we're not going to see Mr. Tub Grinder guy until uh, Thursday or Friday of next week. Like when I talked to him, he said he'll have me on his calendar for 
like Monday, Tuesday, beginning week. And then we had all that wind on Tuesday and Wednesday, which would have shut him down from grinding. So now I know that's going to Monday, Tuesday, will get pushed back by a day or two. So now we're going to be back to uh, end of next week, guaranteed. Guaranteed. So I got to open this gate over here so I can get into this corral and uh, I'll bring you guys back in a bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, back you up a little bit. There. You might be able to see something a little better this way. Get in between these posts. So why the heck are all these posts here, right? Well, I'll tell you. From back this way, right there, and then all the way across down to the far side down there, the plan was to put fence line feed in here for feeding calves and cows and so on and so forth, feedlot style, fence line feed, for feeding them like cut feed and so on and so forth. Well, we never did get that done because then we quit buying calves. Mm, so, so yeah, that's why those posts are there. And who knows, like as time goes on, I may, put uh, fence line feed in there yet and is there water here actually there is water uh, I don't have a water bowl set up but there is a water line here and uh, all I have to do for that water line it's literally basically right where Mocha is standing that's where the water line is so, um, all I got to do is turn the valve on in the house, in the basement. That's where our water system is. And uh, then I'll have water in this corral. I contemplated putting one out here this year. But I wanted to do a like a tire tank water bowl type thing. Because I got the water line out here. I just have to do the tire tank thing but then I don't have no power out here so we never did get power trenched out here yet so that'll be that's yet to come you right but and there you can kind of see there's the cows so just outside of the corral there 30 yards 40 yards that's where I uh, unrolled that green feed barley bale. Anyways. Okay, let's get this other bale put in there and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, how the hell y'all doing today? It is Friday, November the 19th. I have to run to the city today. I picked the worst friggin' day to run to the city. Black Friday. Anybody doesn't know what the hell Black Friday is, it's uh, basically a month from Christmas, and they have Black Friday de deals, where lots of shit in uh, pretty much every store you go to is drastically reduced prices. Everything's on sale, more or less. How's that sound? And the pretty friggin' city was a friggin' gong, gong show piss me off people everywhere traffic is bumper to bumper nobody's friggin moving I was thinking oh fuck I'll get to the city by noon I'll deal with my stuff and I'll be home by 2 o'clock at the very latest here we are it's 3 friggin 30 and I just left the city we're not going to get home until after 4 it's friggin ridiculous anyway guys I know I got a lot of shit here over the next, the last couple days for y'all. Uh, more, more minutes than what's required. So, have fun out there. If you need to go to the city, don't do it on a Black Friday. It ain't worth your, it ain't worth the hassle. Uh, give us the old thumbs up. 
comment, subscribe, and fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch y'all later.